day viewers, welcome to our Freeze Concept TV headline. Tunubu on course to make life harder for Nigerians, LP. Bidding congratulate Tunubu. The Labour Party has said that the new administration of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu was on course to inflict more pain on Nigerians. If criticized President inaugural decision to remove subsidy on petrol, describing it as as one of his many policies aimed to making life harder for the people. The party, while condemning what they describe as the unliteral decision taken without any form of consultation with relevant stakeholders, particularly the labor union, said the president's action has instantly pushed Nigerians further into hardship. This is as it claimed to have observed with pain that some of the petroleum station operators simply shunned their filling station and deposit owners also shut their operations. They have also argued that no clarification was given on the execution of the policy. We are therefore calling on the government to quickly reevaluate re the policy and come up with more um, practical plans to remove the subsidy in such a way as not to jeopardize the peace of the nation. Acting National Publicity Secretary of LP, Obiora Ifoa, on Tuesday, a statement lambasted decision regretting what a way to announce one's emergency as the shrift in town president Tunumbu's first executive proclamation was such that it is proposed to inflict pain on Nigeria. Inauguration Bidi congratulate Tunumbu seeks sustained US Nigeria relations. US President Joe Biden has congratulated President Mom Bola met Tunumbu on his inauguration, saying he looked forward to working with the new government of Nigeria. Why noting both Nigeria and the U.S. had strong ties, Biden expressed his desire to strengthen the bond. Biden said in a statement yesterday, on behalf of the people of the United States, I seem warm wishes to the government and people of Nigeria as they inaugurate a new president. My administration has worked to strengthen ties between the United States and Nigeria, and I look forward to continue this work with President Tinubu to support economic growth, advance security, and promote respect for human rights. According to him, the connection between both countries run particularly deep and have been nurtured by a great Nigerian diaspora on in the USA. All right, viewers, you have listened to today's news. Hmm. The LP people in Abuja has come out to blast the present president, the president of Bola Mentunumbu, that he just... um entered into power they just inaugurated him and the next thing is to um make life miserable for nigerians well i don't know how i don't i don't know if he has hands in it let's let's not say he does he, he has hands in it or he does not so we don't know but what i'm trying to say is that nigerians are the ones really making life miserable for their fellow nigerians because some people will literally purposely lock down their filling station hold them patrol just to suffer their fellow nigerians or just to spoil somebody's tenure or whatever i am not trying to paint the present president blue black or whatever color all i'm trying to say is that nigerians should um should try not to make life difficult for their fellow nigerians now labor party coming out to blast the president president okay well I don't know why they are doing it, but let the present president do something about this because it is not funny. People struggling to go to work because the prices of things has increased. Okay, I got on the phone with someone today and she was trying to share with me that people going to um, Lagos Island, they are paying one five. I don't know if he's going and coming, but she said one five. Imagine paying one five to go to work and people are actually working at the at that place. Youth. Youth are working there. Family fam, family men are working there. Women are working there. Going and come. Okay, imagine paying one five going one five. Well, that is three thousand naira every day. Three thousand naira times a week. Times a month. Are they joking? Like are they really really like I, I don't I don't know if they're really really thinking about this. Okay. I got on a call with someone today again. The person was coming at Oyimbo, going to Oyimbo, but to, to, to get a bus to go to Oyimbo, it's 500 naira going, coming back is 500 naira, plus the hold up. That's every day 1k, 1k, 1k times a week, minus Sunday. 
six thousand naira in a month are you joking please it's really really not because we nigerians we, we we i don't know when we see an opportunity to extort things of for, for from our fellow nigerians we don't we like we grab it without thinking if it's going to affect the next person bitterly why like i don't know if 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 we don't have this conscience of this thing i'm doing how is this going to affect other people would they really swallow would they really take in the pills you just wake up one morning you just infl- and some people know that some people have this 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 petrol in their station some people have they are just locking it down just to suffer the masses why I don't say this if 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 you're trying to spoil somebody else's name to make his tenure look bad. I'm I'm not trying to to paint the present president good or bad. I don't care. It's 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 not my concern. But what I'm trying to say is that we are all we we are the ones that are that are still going to suffer this whole scarcity, this whole force uh, scarcity of a thing. We are we all are going to suffer for it because we are bad bosses. Not everybody has a car. Even if you have a car, you you go to the station to go and get fuel, and you're gonna kill the stress, the whole the whole drama. And if nothing is being done, they will keep on increasing the prices. Imagine how much they are paying people as salary, and how much they spend on transport. They're, they're compl- people are already complain that transport is, is already that their their salary is not enough for the transport. Now fuel has and they're not increasing it, and some buses will not even allow people to lap like lapping please it is not funny students have been really really expressing their their pains please the government really need to look into this i don't know how they want to do it they need to look into it and sort it out because people are not finding it any funnier it is so so not going down well emerging students spending money on only transport we have left the issue of cashless policy now it's fuel subsidy please nigerians should stop trying to make life hard for all the nigerians in the name of god please let the government I don't know. They should just do something and fix this whole thing and so let everything get back to it, to, to the way it were before, and to a better progress and all that. All right, so if comes end of today's news, please do well to drop out the comment section. Let's know what your views are. Thank you for listening.